OK, Mark, you've gone to Vietnam for your sandwich inspiration this morning. I'm pretty excited about this. What exactly are we making? We certainly have. So we've got an Asian-style sandwich, a pork bar mi. Nice. Right, so it's from Vietnam, and we've got all these beautiful flavours in here. We're going to pickle some carrots. We've got coriander in there. We've got fresh cucumber. Uh, and then we've got this pork as well. So we've got a pate, which we're going to put in to okay. make it nice and rich. And then we've got this beautiful um, pork chop, um, or shoulder chop. So what we need to do, we need to brine it first, yes. and then we're going to slow roast it, and you'll get so much flavour, keep mm. it nice and moist and juicy, and then we're going to build everything together, uh, everything up together, and we've got some chilies in there as well. It's going to be absolutely exciting, Ooh. I reckon. Yeah. And Mel's excited about this one. No, no, this is a good sandwich to be making, and just love looking at all those ingredients. It is going to be sensational, I am sure. We'll be back in the Beko Kitchen to see how to create this a little later on. We are in the Beko Kitchen as we continue Sandwich Week, and this morning you're going to show us how to create a pork barn, a Vietnamese dish, which is going to be fantastic. It's sandwich week, let's get into it. Well, it's packed full of flavour and it's all about the pork, mm, right? So yeah. we've got this beautiful um, shoulder part of the pork. You can use the pork book, which is the end of the shoulder, yep. or a big shoulder roast, or we've just got some chops, Great. which will just speed up the um, cooking time. But what you need to do to keep the pork full of flavour and nice and moist, you want to brine it. So I've got some water in here. Okay. So I've just brought a little bit of water up to the boil. Mm -hmm. I've got some garlic, so I just sort of crush that. It's yep. about just getting flavour into the liquid. I've never brined pork before, so this is great. No, it's really good. Something it keeps new. It, keeps it, gives it a great flavour yeah. and uh, nice and moist. Moist. So a little bit of fresh black cracked pepper, a little bit of salt okay. in there, and some sugar. Okay, okay, cool. So it looks quite excessive, but we are going to add some more water to that. Okay, good. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you that in a in a in a while. Okay, sweet. Right, so just whisk whisk it up. Bring and it back dissolve up to the boil. It, yep. Yeah, we just want to dissolve it. Right, I've got some chilies here. So I've got some nice fresh um, chilies. Just give it a little bit of a kick. They're going to go in, and I've got some serrano chilies as well. Serrano so, chilies. Yeah. So more, what's different yeah. about them? Are they just so these little Mexican sort of style oh, yeah, chilies? Cool. But these are these have been pickled as well. So we're still getting some heat. Yeah, we're getting nice. a different flavour. So chilies go in there. Garlic in there. And then, once it's all dissolved, mm -hmm. I've got some more water, so we're going to dilute this because that's going to be really, really strong. Okay. But the reason why we just warm a little bit up is because we're, then we can put cold water in here, mm -hmm. give it all the mix around, and then the temperature there is going to be a lot lower. And then what we do is we just put, pop our meat in here. Great. So if you're using little chops, uh, you probably want to marinate, or you probably want to brine that for about an hour, two hours maximum. If okay. you're using a big sort of joint and you're doing a lot of this and you're going to roast it all in the oven overnight, 24 hours, you can leave it in there. So just uh, pop it into a bowl, pop it in the fridge, and then just leave it. Nice, thank you for teaching us how to brine some pork. I've never done that before. Yes, it's really easy. And you can yeah. put any flavours you want in there. Great. Right, so we're going to do some pickled carrots as well now. So yep. a little bit of water uh -huh. goes in there and some sugar, sorry, not water, vinegar. I was going to say, that doesn't smell like water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got a whiff of that. Uh, so vinegar and sugar. Yeah, so vinegar yep. and sugar. So lots of vinegar in there, really sharp. You need the sugar to balance it off, and we're, getting, we're going to get that whole sweet and sour um, mm, beautiful. effect. So bring it, bring it up to a simmer until all the sugar dissolves. Yep. Turn it off, let it cool down, and then it's ready to go and put all over our carrots. Okay, so great. what we've got here, just some carrots we've peeled. Get a grater. And then we're just going to grate these. You know, you can um, chop it up with a knife. You can do it at Julian if you want. But it's quite easy just to, just to grate it. And then just make sure when you do the pickle, just let it cool down and put it on cold. You okay, know, because we want that. We want that sweet and sour dressing almost over the carrot, but we still want the carrot to be raw and crunchy. Well, we're going to do some fine chopping on Monday's show, aren't we? So I'm looking Whoa. forward to that. <laughs> fine chopping is what I like to call it. <laughs> is that a new segment for us? Yeah, fine chopping, that's right. <laughs> At the moment, we're chop brining. OK, and that, so that's just going to sit there. We're going to pretend it's done a couple of hours. This yep. is dissolved nicely, so what do yep, you need so to do that so now? Turn it off, yeah. um, let it cool down, and then we'll pop it on the carrots just before we serve and okay, build cool. the sandwich. Um, and down. then all we want to do with this next day, dry it off, pop it into a, an oven about 160 degrees, and then just cook it and roast it. You don't need to pre-seal it or anything. Okay. So just depends how long um, or how big the pork joint is, mm. how long you're going to cook it. Yeah. So if it's a big thick one, a couple of hours, that'll probably take, you know, sort of 45, 50 minutes or so. Take it out, let it rest, and then we're ready to build. Brilliant. I am excited. This is going to be brilliant. We'll come back to the Beko Kitchen straight after we catch up with Holly. Now it's time to finish off our Vietnamese sandwich today, our banh mi. And this is very exciting. Um, carrots, they are looking great. <laughs> anyway, sorry, anyway, let's just cook. What do we need to do now? 
Right, so we've got the carrots here, so we've got the pickling solution. It's yep. cooled down, so you can pop a little bit on that, a little bit of salt in there. Okay, cool. Uh, give it a good, sure, generous splash. You don't need to put it all on, and then just toss it around so it's all coated. Okay, brilliant. Here's our pork, which we've just roast, roasted. It's come out, it's rested, so it's just cooled down a bit, and then we're just going to slice it and tear it off. About there? Yeah, that's it. Give it yep, a good cool. stir. Right, we've got our French baguette. So, a little bit like Subway now, you can decide how big you want it, you know? I like to do the whole thing. It's good. You're a foot longer, aren't <laughs> <right>? you? <laughs> Right, here we go, right, here's a tip for you. So, I'm gonna take the top third of the um, bread off. Yeah. Okay, so that's gonna be our, obviously, top. Right, and then I've got okay. the bottom third there, so I'm just gonna... Just and does this make construction of the, set of, the, um, of the sandwich easier? Yeah, yeah, but okay. we're gonna take a bit of the bread out. Okay, mm. I'm gonna take the ends off. Yeah, that pickled carrot's really good. And it's only been pickling for 10 seconds. Right, and so what you want to do is you want to just pull a little bit of this bread out, okay? So take a little bit out. Okay. And what this does is creates a cavity so we can put more filling in. Okay, How great. Is that? So you can take a little bit more out. Okay, cool. I'll and then some. I'm going to just put some mayonnaise on the top. Feed the birds, tuppence. I feel like I'm about to feed some birds. <laughs> That's it, beautiful. So you can put a little layer of mayonnaise in there. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some pork pate, so you can just buy this in the supermarkets, just save you uh, making it. How high, how much mayo? So you don't oh, want a couple of spoons, but then sort of spread it so you've got a nice okay, thin cool. layer. You know, you don't want to you nice don't want to saturate even. it in there, but you want a little bit. You know, we're not using any butter. We're getting two oh, sandwiches yeah, in a row, we haven't oh, used any no, butter. Yeah. I don't know what is going on. Okay, nice. Um, okay, cool. And then you can just get some little bits of um, pork, you know, and you, and you don't need to spread this, you know, put little chunks in, but go, go all the way down the sandwich. So this is our pate. That's our pate. Right, and then I've got some cucumber as well. And then I'm just going to do some long strips. So, okay. you know, not too thin, so you've got a nice little crunch. And then do these strips and we can just lay that down. Right, let's put a little bit Right, and then we've section. got our pork as well. So you can sort of just, you know, it's still got the bone in here, so you can sort of cut round it. And then I'm just going to sort of slice it or shred it. You know, if you've got a nice big joint, you can just sort of do that. So let's put our meat in there. Look at oh, that. It's looking so good. So it's nice and juicy, full of flavour. Yes. And then you can do a layer of carrots. A layer of carrots. Okay, cool. Excuse the fingers. Yeah, so be nice and generous. So you've got the carrots in there. That's going to give it some colour as well. Some acidity to cut through all that rich pork. Mm-hmm. You know, pack it all in. And then look at this. Want some more? A few I'll more, yeah. More yeah. yeah, cool. So a little bit of cucumber <laughs> on there. So go right to the end. And then we'll go a little bit of coriander. Just sort of spread that over. And, and you then put mayo on the top part as yeah, well. Yeah, put mayo on the top part. And then some these beautiful chilies. Yum. So spread those out. And then... Flavoursome, colourful. Little drizzle of soy sauce over the top. It's a work of art, folks. And look at that. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh. I love it! And this is amazing. Uh, it's going to be delicious, I'm sure. What's on the menu tomorrow? Well, it's the last um, sandwich of uh, yes. Sandwich Week, so we're making their ultimate club sandwich. <laughs> oh, yes! Sounds like a winner!